In this video, I will look at it scientifically. I am a software engineer, and my little brother is a computer scientist, much better than I am at computers, and there are a lot of people that are better than he is. Okay? So don't expect us to be the best at everything. Never said that. Nobody's perfect. However, I have noticed that when I make my freestyles off the top of my head, it is like um, the wise recitals, except where I'm reciting what God is telling me. And this is dangerous because the government does has te have technology to have the voice of God, and that's part of why. Because people like me tend to be in touch with something divine that inspires our words through our martial art insight. A martial artist has conditioned his mind from a scientific perspective, to be more insightful and to figure things out quickly. For example, if it takes you your entire life to figure out one plus one equals two, how much more will you figure out? So the minimum requirement of the wise man is the ability to think quickly. That is a bare minimum requirement. It is not just a positive evolutionary trait. And there is a, he doesn't want to get ahead of himself, mind you. So his ability to surgically apply masterfully fast thought. Well, doesn't that reflect the night light temple philosophy of martial arts, Chukwamek? Absolutely. And of course, I am talking to myself for you mental health idiots who wrote that down just now. <laughs> if you did. Anyway. You listen clearly and carefully. And I will speak clearly and carefully. Clear your mind of that nonsense. All that racial pride that keeps you from giving me my place. I am not even one race. I am God's way of humbling all you cocky Japhethians. God does not like the white man playing Jew and master race, nor does he like the Jew who is not black doing the same. He is not racist, and skin color does not matter to him. But you are denying his children their rightful place, and he does not approve. I say this with my martial art insight inspired by God, and I do not believe I am a prophet, because I make the distinction, and it has to do with the miat in the social order. I discuss these things when I talk about page 162 and 182. I discuss these things when I talk about page 7. To settle insignificant disputes that could lead to bloodshed, like who won a dice game, people catch a fade. And we used to wrestle as Ebos, but there were other Africans who weren't as peaceful. But nonetheless, in ancient combat, I can defeat them with my bloodless way of competing. This is respectable and consistent with light temple philosophy. Moses took on an Egyptian and later on in the spirit of Moses, you see it continued through Joshua and other Jews, including myself. Moses when it comes to Jews, not Africans, but Jews, is the ancestral martial artist of the Jews. Abraham, however, is connected to that. He is somebody who symbolically was trying to find that martial arts spirit and was starting to get there. But Moses is the uniter of the Jews. He, is, he unified the Jewish spirit in the, in the sense of adhering to the covenant and delivering it and punishing those dramatically who went against it, setting a standard for all Jews to follow, whether they are Christians now or not. That when somebody goes against the one true religion in, a name, in the name of paganism, selfishness, and anything to do of this world, especially when Satan is the god of this world, they must be disposed of and dealt with harshly, to say the least. Not necessarily in that order. 
So when you look at this thing, right, we'll talk about page seven. Thus, while the student in application may adopt variations on techniques more suited to his, her body, aesthetic sense, or experience, there is often a theoretically immutable point of reference that would be passed on to students. That is Moses when it comes to the Jews. Think of the Battle of Jericho, David and Goliath. Why is the shorter man with the heart of a giant a recurring theme? Because these are the Afro-Asiatics, not the deep Hamitic blacks. These are the Ham and Shem mixed together. By the time you get to 1200 BC, for many reasons, Moses having a Cushite wife, blah, 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 you know, the split between the Ishmaelites and the ancient split between Canaan and so on, when Ham and Shem, you know, uh, and how, you know, there's Ham is distinct from Shem until you have the history of the migration of the Jews and God allows the Jews to take um, basically the Hamitics, uh, as captives and wives. So whole groups of people, arguably, were more or less wiped out and assimilated into the Jewish uh, gene pool. And they were Hamites, you know, the descendants of Ham, such as Canaan, okay, the Canaanites. So when you talk about the Canaanite God, El, right? Isis, Ra, and El, you're talking about the Hamitic philosophy of Africa. Okay, Israel, Isis, Ra, and El, Genesis, genes of Isis, the light temple. And you'll see Satanists using half-truths to make it seem like they were white. And yes, Jordan Maxwell and his crowd were embarrassed when the Narmer palate proved me right and them wrong. And he needs to pass the baton. You guys need to listen to me, and not the Eurocentrics. On a very key point that has everything to do with what is going on, that should not have been ignored, that I was right about and they were wrong about, I was very right about for the exact same reasons. You should listen to me and not them. So now that we have straightened that up and once again put Johnny Elroy and all these insignificant, insufficient dogs in their place, let us get back to the subject matter. Fighting for honor. Honor and light are synonymous. The honor of God. The light of God. Sacred and light are synonymous when it is truly applied in its true form, its original form. In fact, the symbol for all these probably was the same. Remember when I said the H probably has something to do with, you know, his, his staff, like the, the letter, the symbol H, and then I looked it up, I put it in the comments. Okay, this is coming and often, right, before science figures it out, I know naturally because nature is superior to the white man's nurture. He's, he's an appearance, you know, he cares about his appearance too much. He doesn't care about telling you the truth. That's why we all know the media is bullshit. Hell, in America where most people are white, most people who are saying the media is bullshit are white. And it is a white and Jew and white Jew controlled media, no matter how you slice it, for the most part. So we know it is socially normative to know that the white man's narrative is bullshit. And the black man proves him wrong when it comes to the most important aspects of the human experience and human history, such as who were the Egyptians really were, where their culture was and is, and what is the deeper significance of the mind-body-soul debate being won by black people. Nobody wants to speak on these things, do they? As soon as the black man proves his point, let's cover it up and gang stalk him. If the white man even kind of looks good, let's put extras on it and make it seem like he's the top martial artist. I mean, come on, you all know this is how it is. Unlike the media, I offer money for anyone who can disprove a key point. Imagine if they did the same. <laughs> Imagine if all those white guys who swore up and down that Egypt was white did the same. <laughs> you get my drift? I mean, come on, man. Come on, man, I'm the top. And these bitch-ass air warriors are not. And you all know that. One last thing, I'd like to say that, yes, I do believe there are, are a lot of martial artists who don't approve of what I'm saying. And I believe that it's because of their philosophy that they're not going to do anything. And that's part of my point in the first place. Part of my argument in the first place there. I cannot um, keep putting pages out to prove my point. And that's part of the white man's trickery intellectual property and copyrights and stuff 
So that this is going to have to be the last page I put up and the last picture from the book. And by the book, I know it's expensive. It's the type of thing, especially if you're black or Hispanic or Asian or any martial artist, right? You know, that you want to give to your children and tell them the truth about martial arts, where they come from, and why society lies about where they come from. And in fact, I go as far as to say everyone should have a book. But for certain types of people, it's like more personal, I'd say, than others, perhaps.